Hello everybody, my name is H&M and welcome to the actual first episode of Advancement Tutorials where I'll show you how to make custom advancements and how to pop them into your advancements menu. So we're left off where we are, we're starting where we left off last time um, with the, the folder of our world here with the data folder with empty advancements so no custom advancements yet and a resource pack which we extracted from the versions file which I can now close because we did that in the last episode and with the custom uh, 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 default advancements recipes and stories and the recipes which will touch another episode the first advancements so as you can see we have the custom uh, the default minecraft advancements tree right here and we want to show our own advancements in a different tab so we're not going to add to this we're going to leave this alone we're going to add another tab over here so how are, are we going to do that well the first thing you need to do is go to your minecraft folder saves go to your world it's custom advancements that's how i called this world in there there's an advancements folder but don't touch that that's just your player advancements these are just um, I can show you actually these are all the recipes and advancements I've unlocked and for example has cobblestone we unlock that on that date and we had the recipe from that date so when our uh, rest or our advancements are uh, being checked to see which uh, advancements we have, we can see, oh, has cobblestone, we reached that on that date. So cool, we done that. So we just uh, save that in the file and these are all the advancements that I gotten. So I also got the story root, which we could have seen in our advancements menu, that's the story root, etc, etc. So don't touch that, that's just your player based advancements. We're going to the data folder. there is an advancements folder which is empty it will all, always automatically generate in this snapshot at least and here is where you're gonna put your custom advancements now do note if you're going to copy your story over in here it's not going to update anything yet you have to re-log the world every time you change anything in the advancements so that's something to keep in mind now if you just copy the story thing in there we'll touch the recipes later as I said and these are not actually the recipes, they're just the advancements for the recipes, but that's something for another episode again. If we just drop the story folder in here, it will just overwrite everything that Minecraft has to offer. So basically if in this folder, if we put story and recipes, it will overwrite everything. So we can just empty out everything in the JSON files and it will basically just overwrite everything with emptiness. So it won't have a Minecraft um, tree anymore so you can't advance in Minecraft anymore um, so how you want to customize this is basically just go into story but make a new folder and call it something we're going to basically make nether achievements so mine quartz, kill a zombie pigment, that kind of stuff so we're just going to make a nether folder and now if we just um, remove everything again because it was just an example so now if we put stuff in the nether, it will not um, mess with the old Minecraft uh, achievements um, or old Minecraft advancements. Now that's not technically true because if we take mine stone for example and we put it in the nether, watch what happens. So we have this like that, save and quit, we go back into the world, we go into advancement and what the heck? As you can see, it doesn't matter where you put your uh, advancements, they will, they will still show up. And that is because if we go into mine stone, we can see the parent is the Minecraft story root. Although it, there isn't any root JSON in the, here, it just inherits from the default. And in default, root is just Minecraft, so it, it duplicates. And that's not what you want. So. Technically, you can put your advancements anywhere in the advancements folder. It doesn't matter as long as you make sure you update these to whatever you need. So nether.root or nether slash root, 
it will now um, not show up in here but in nether root which we haven't created so let's create that real quick in story nether root and so we're going to edit this so basically we're just going to copy the first two advancements but that doesn't matter so we don't have to change anything in here though because this is just basically well, we'll call it nether so we can see it actually changes and so now if we go out of the world and back into the world we can see in advancements we have two tabs so basically keeping folders organized this way with nether and for example um, skygrid or something we have a crazy map called skygrid uh, we can uh, make specific skygrid uh, things in here or we have some um, real cool custom map called banana land and we want to have our banana land achievements in here and we have like a resource pack with bananas and I don't know <laughs> you just organize your stuff uh, neatly in that way so in story we're just putting in the story because it's has to do with the story and that's just neat so um, now you know that it doesn't matter where you put your advancements as long as you put the parent correctly. Um, we're just gonna still stick to this pattern to keep things organized. So we have these two advancements here, which are now our custom advancements. And they show up in a different tab. All right, the icon is still the same and we'll show you how to change the icon. And we're gonna do that real easily by going into root.json and changing the icon to nether.png. Now you think, whoa, what are you doing? Is that just gonna work with everything? Can I just put end.png? No, that doesn't work. Now, how, why does this work? Because there is actually a nether.png in there already. So that's neat for us, but if you wanna actually use a texture that isn't in there, You'll have to change this completely, but first we're going to just simply use nether.png for this episode and later I'll teach you more details. So in, it's in textures, it's in GUI, advancements, backgrounds, and you can see they have already provided a nether.png for us. How kind of them. So you can see stone.png, that was the default, and now we have nether.png. So yeah. We just change this to nether.png and that will change the background. So let's make sure you save it. You go out of the game and back into the game. And we look at advancements and the background has changed. So that's the background and the icon has not changed yet. So I've got to do that. The icon is basically just a Minecraft block or item. So we're going to do nether quartz so we're going to do um nether quartz i think is the id of you can just check what is it quartz it's just quartz all right so we just change this to quartz and that just changes the item id to quartz and we'll change the icon too so make sure you save it go back into the world and as you can see in advancements now we have nether and has a beautiful nether quartz and it still has mine stone, which we can change to Minecraft. Um, we can change to uh, something else later, but first we want to work on root. So how do we want to unlock this when we come into the nether? Well, we don't want to um, look if we have a crafting table. That's stupid. Let's, see, let's just check if somebody mines some nether rack and just um, put them into the game when they find some... Or actually, nether quartz, because because obviously the icon is quartz or so we're just going to do some quartz or or quartz because if if you mine quartz you'll get quartz so this is some really basic stuff just um, we just changed the icon here for quartz change the title to nether and we change the um, background image to nether.png because it's provided so that's easy and we want to check if the inventory is changed and the player got quartz so they are already completed, but that's because we haven't actually changed the criteria. And here is something very important you have to not forget. This is an identifier. 
this is not this doesn't do anything on its own but it's an identifier so basically crafting table is an identifier if you have gotten this identifier before in an in another advancement you will unlock everything with this identifier so make sure to change this for everything you want so don't make duplicates unless you want them both to be um, unlocked at the same time by the same thing so we want to change this to quartz or obtain quartz that's very descriptive so how do we unlock the nether all right so we have some quartz ore right and we have to mine it or somehow other way get the quartz so we're just going to mine it as you can see nothing happens when we mine it it's just when we pick up the item our inventory changes the minecraft registers it and it becomes gold so congratulations you made your first custom advancement in minecraft we i taught you how to make a custom tab separate from minecraft's uh, story so you don't mess with this and change it and so you have your custom background your custom icon your custom title and your custom criteria and don't forget to change that very important if something doesn't work and you see two things unlock at the same time make sure to change your criteria the trigger that we haven't ch changed yet and the conditions which is just minecraft quartz and make sure to spell your ident uh, or your uh, IDs right so Minecraft quartz as we can see in here um, below uh, the name in gray is Minecraft quartz that's the ID which can be unlocked by pressing F3 plus H it will say that debug advanced toolship shown and that will because without it just shows this and with it you can see the ID so keep that in mind um, that's something useful I guess so we have our own root file in the nether. Stay tuned, next episode we'll go further with some deeper uh, advancement stuff. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.